Hello, and welcome to the HDI Propagation Series. My name is Harley Smith, and today I'll be introducing you to the art of cloning. Every plant grown from seed is a unique individual, even if it's the same strain taken from the same seed pack. You'll get short plants, tall plants, small leaves, large leaves, dark colors, lighter colors. No two plants will be exactly alike. But plants grown from cuttings are genetically identical to the mother plant. If given the same nutrients and grown in exactly the same environment, every plant grown from cuttings will be just like the mother. So if you have that one special plant with superior qualities, cloning is the way to go. Today, I'm going to clone a purple basil plant from my hydroponic garden. I'll need a sharp pair of scissors, a razor blade or scalpel, some cloning gel, and a tray of growing medium. There are many suitable growing mediums for cuttings, coarse sand, perlite, vermiculite, rock wool, or special potting blends are all acceptable. But today, I'm going to use a tray of biodegradable starter cubes. Just open the package and you're ready to clone. Some even come with their own cloning gel. Each cube is like a little sponge made from specially blended organic materials. The cubes are pre-moistened, so if you give one a little squeeze, you should see water coming out the surface. If they dry out, simply re-moisten them. The cube should be moist, not heavily soaked, but it's not a bad idea to add a little water to the tray to keep the cubes moist and create a little humidity chamber for the clones. Next, you'll need a good cloning gel with just the right amount of rooting hormones. Pour a little into a shot glass and you're ready to take cuttings. Choose a branch with at least two or three sets of leaves and decide where you're going to take your cutting. I'm going to take my first cut here, just above this node. If you look closely, you'll notice that there are two sets of growing buds just above these leaves. So if I cut here, just above the node, two branches will take its place. So now I'll take my first cut, trim off the bottom two sets of leaves, like so, cut off all but a couple of the healthiest leaves on the top here, and now I'm ready to take my second cut. Using the razor blade, I'll take my second cut just below this node at a 45 degree angle, dip it in the cloning gel so it completely covers the, the end, and then dip it right into my sponge, just deep enough to keep it from falling over. Now we're going to mist the plant and cover it with a humidity dome. The humidity will be over 90% under the dome and will help keep the clones from wilting. That's all there is to it. Place the tray in a warm environment under full spectrum fluorescent lamps and wait patiently for the roots to start to grow, usually about a week to 10 days. You should see condensation form under the dome. That's good. Just let a little fresh air in from time to time. Once roots begin to form, you can remove the dome and continue to grow them out until you're ready to transplant. Healthy, snowy white roots covered with feathery root hairs will pop out of the cube. It's now ready to be transplanted, cube and all, into your favorite growing medium. That about covers the basics of cloning. For more information on cloning, contact Hydrodynamics and we'll be glad to help. Until next time, good luck and good growing.